Hi, welcome guys. Welcome back to my F1 journey as Hello Younger. Me, as today I have two beautiful, two beautiful sisters. Oh my gosh. Today we have Sebi and Sisan. Um, they're going to introduce yeah. themselves more. Well, first, as usual, we have to play a game to bring our shoulders down. Some competitive games are flowing. I can see Sisan's eyes. I've not even said let's go. You're entering on the code. <laughs> Sebi. Alright, Sebi. Let it break up. Wow. 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 Wow.
doing? I was so beautiful. Oh, you want to that? I was hungry. I was hungry. Okay. You have already started answering this question, so we just continue. So the first one is, how did you all get here? And what led to you guys both studying in the States? Like, we are in the unique that two of you were in the same school, both the same school, and now you are, okay, now you're in the same state. You're in the same state, yeah, technically, so. How did it all happen? Right. Yeah. Anybody can go first. Do you want to start? Okay. Since I was the one that he used as a guinea pig, I'm so sorry. But um, my older sister was already okay. here. So there was a probability of me coming to school here. But obviously, because I was really young and I don't know if I was the black sheep of the family, but there was there were concerns that mm -hmm. if I would come here, I'm going to another that mm -hmm. that they don't recognize. So they wanted to have all their options open. So I wrote every exam writable. I wrote SAT, I wrote IELTS, I wrote mm -hmm. TOEFL, I wrote, no I, didn't, no, I didn't write TOEFL because I already had mm -hmm. the IELTS. I wrote JAM, I wrote YX, I wrote NECO. I think the only like major exam I didn't mm -hmm. write was, mm -hmm. like I said, which was OSS2. I even wrote IGCSC. So, Oh, that is oh, my rule. Then, that's for like, I just feel like oh, okay. British situation. Like, if you're going, to have, like people in the UK will write. So, I wrote that one too. I mean, I did decent in all the exams, give you all the exams I would need to write, but I literally don't remember any score that I had. So, it wasn't horrible, but it was not memorable. But I'm here, at least. Then I went to A levels, which is supposed to be like a pre pre college for a lot of people who were yeah. going to the UK. Again, because I was young and who graduated graduated how, young. I think the average was very young. I was literally I think I was think I was fifteen turning yeah, sixteen or sixteen mm -hmm. when I graduated from school, yeah. So I graduated from secondary school. Yeah, I was 16. I, I because you graduate in mm -hmm. July. My birthday mm -hmm. was not in August. So I was 15 when I graduated. Then I went over to A levels, did that for two years. Then I came here to the US through community college because like uh, my older sister was like coming to the US educational system mm -hmm. is very different. And in order to get with the program and understand it would be a good idea to okay. do community college instead of taking all these uh, baby classes, paying mm -hmm. thousands and thousands of dollars for community college is a better way to get into the system easier. So I did community college for another two years, then went to Baylor. I finished out my degree in Baylor, then did my master's finish out, then started working. But my How about you, story. Um, basically very similar. Um, graduated high school and mm -hmm. then did A levels. I have no clue why, cause the plan was never to be <laughs> okay. So, um, but I feel like my dad just kind of wanted us like I guess yeah. to grow a little before we went. Yeah. Um, then did A levels for. We did it for one year. year. Started Started it for two years. Yeah, they both. Yeah, that's why. Does that mean? No. That's why we kind of. I said, does that mean that you know? You just. No, I'm like, isn't it like a set? That's why we kind of like. Well, you just choose how much you want to. But I did. I was like, I did work. So like, I was already mm -hmm. in A levels, and like typically A levels, I did like A one, A two, they accelerated A one, A two. So I did like A one, A two, seven finish the program as well. My yeah. dad was so odd because it's not really a program to finish. I don't know what the point was because I was just wondering what I was taking school doing the exam. I think they just wanted us to be But I think it helped. I, I, I definitely think it helped because school came 
<clears throat> for me ish. Not like easy, like I didn't have to study, but I wasn't failing, even though I wasn't really trying. So even like in primary school, I'm always surprised that they school more can be. Like to this day, I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. When I would apply myself, like I, I think my older sister was like, oh, she was going to give me money if I came first. You shock everybody. We said, come just come. True, everybody was shocked. I do it again. But like, when I try to apply okay. myself, I will do well. But like, when I didn't really do it, I was chilling. I would do enough okay. not to fail. But when I entered into A level, was when I would see people who were really brilliant and wanted more than more for themselves than just coasting through life. And I think that set me up to be successful when I eventually. Okay. Okay. So, so back to you, I said you did one year of A level. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so I did one year. Um, honestly, I think the only benefit it had was that it helped me, like, um, because in high school we really didn't have access to like consistent um internet. Yeah. We have access to our phones. I feel like in A level we had access to like internet, a consistent internet, and then we also had access to our phone. We had to turn our phones at night, but. So you, you were board you were boarded in the yellow. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. So um we had access to our phones, mm-hmm. computers, tablets, um and so I feel like having all that access and then in a book I didn't really take it too. What do you guys learn there? Is that like just like in general? Well I feel like math, English, physics, mm-hmm. it's like yeah, I think mm-hmm. we did like math, English, physics, chemistry, biology. Um but I think um, having that and then, like, I was always, like, watching TV. I really wasn't studying, none of that. So I feel like transitioning from high school to having, like, some mm-hmm. freedom um, in A-levels was good so that I, in A-levels, I, like, really didn't take it too seriously. I was always watching TV. You got so it when I came here, I was like, okay, I've seen. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, exactly. But I, I was like, okay, see what <laughs> I can do because I wasn't doing that great. So I came here and I was like, okay, well, you kind of have to, like, no one is taking my phone, no one is, like, you know, um, mm-hmm. being on me to, like, study. So when I came here, I was like, okay, I need to, like, be more okay. disciplined. Um, and so I think that was really, like, about the only benefit. Your like, dad for sure did. I'm kidding, guys. Like, that's what I have to say. Honestly, I don't know if you get the rest of And if, the thing is, though, I feel like as much as it was an expensive, because it was like, <laughs> right, it was an expensive because I'm like, he spent so much money. Yeah. I learned was this thing. So I think it was really good because, like, when I came here, I was like very disciplined. Like, I would be on my, um, like, I would study when I needed to, all of that. So I think that was really good for that purpose. Um, and then I did, yeah. um, I came here, started off at community college, which I honestly would recommend. Okay, hey, listen, so guys, you don't mm-hmm. go yeah. through all of this. You don't go through like all of, a lot of like the hassle. Cause I didn't and take back the to that, back to that. I didn't the SAT. So, yeah, I didn't take the SAT. The only thing I think they required was like my high. Was school. your YS result? Result, yeah. So my high school like. For real? Like, result type thing. It don't require SATs. Yeah, you literally. Mm-hmm. I didn't take SATs. Um, they. I you did have to take like a pre English. Yeah, I think that because I didn't take the SAT. They, and I didn't have like IELTS or anything. They made me take like this, like, um, it's like a four week or two. I think two to four weeks. So if you, okay. I yeah. think it was like two to four weeks. So if you, uh, mm-hmm. like pass the exam, you could get out in two weeks. But then if you don't pass the exam, you have to stay for four weeks. Okay. So I took like a two to four week um course, and then I passed in two weeks, and they were like, oh yeah, it's fine, you can go. I'm like, like if people don't know that. Exactly. Oh, his English right. is so good. I'm like, right. yes, this is a yeah. national language. <laughs> okay. So you all said that your yeah. sister was here already, um, and that influenced your decision to come to the states. So when she did travel, like, did you guys come to the states? Did you see what life was like in the US before you actually came for school? Was it just what she heard, what you heard her say about schooling in America that just helped your decision? I feel like I want to start the finish and make a story. She did right. Look, let's keep that story for. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. 
Um, I feel like I don't think we really knew exactly what our I don't think I really knew exactly what like um like school here would look like like in details. I feel like we came here on like summer breaks and I remember like when she transferred to Baylor, we like took her, um, me and my family like we took her to school and we like okay. helped her like settle in. Um but I don't think I feel like it was because we're like really young, so I feel like we didn't really mm-hmm. take a lot of it in. And then, like, I just feel like we still we really didn't know exactly what it was. And even coming here for summer break, I feel like it's different. Like coming here to stay yeah. for like a few weeks, maybe like a month, is completely yeah. different from like living here. Because like when we come here, I wouldn't have to like talk or like advocate for myself. If we went to restaurants, like my okay. friends would typically like they would order for me. And even if I was going to wait, it would be just like more work. You know? <laughs> But I feel like coming here, living here, having to like talk to people, like actually having to um, mm-hmm. like move around here is like completely different from mm-hmm. just visiting and then going back. What about you, Sammy? Uh, I totally agree. I mean, the idea of coming to America was always very, very, you know, <laughs> it's a beautiful idea. So it's like, oh, we're going to. Hey, this place that we always went on holiday, so we've always had very positive um, ideas of what America is supposed to be because our only experience was the honeymoon stage, always mm-hmm. summer vacation when people ask for a lot of money, you're not using money for anything. You're just getting stuff, picking stuff up, and it's going home with you. So like that, like the sense that that oh anything else was not there until we finally actually. <laughs> Yeah, that's not fair. That's definitely fair. Because I had the same experience of just like, because two, no, one sibling was here. So we just come, I just come for like, you know, to see how all, to help her move to a new apartment, to buy McDonald's, you know, life is good. I used to watch like movies throughout the night. Like it was so nice. It was always Wi Fi, it was always light. So it just, it was a very good experience.